inclusion in education for me is that allowing our young people to express themselves and not being discriminated and stigmatized in their own schools. Because when the environment is good, we try to grow, we try to be a better version of ourselves. It would mean gender-affirming and inclusive classrooms, as well as the provision of conducive and supportive learning environments. Inclusion and the acknowledgement of minority and vulnerable populations in school curricula not only introduces, but also deepens an understanding of intersectionality. To support everybody in education to have their rights to know and learn and be who they are and make a progressive change for all the minority in this country. In the context of our advocacy, we prioritize peer education, focusing on sexual and reproductive health, gender justice and inclusivity, and so GST education for young people, and of course, policy lobbying. What we are doing here is that we will train this young people population through leadership, communication, and advocacy development skills. After they got trained, they will go to their communities and do the advocacy work there. So some of the projects that Meda and I have worked on as part of IOLAN are allyship workshops, where we provide introductory sections to allyship and how people can move from a passive ally to being an active ally explaining the importance of allyship and the different prejudices and discrimination queer people face in the community in their daily lives. It first started out with um, being mostly for university students and last year we decided to focus on parents. I think focusing on the participants drawing from their personal experience is really what drives our allyship workshops to be uh, effective and impactful. We um, organize the LGBT Youth Leadership Workshop. So we're trying to include all of the identity within uh, the LGBT community to come together and learn about the gender expression, gender identity, and create the activism work in your area, whether it's on the ground or online. Our youth leader, they also um, help us to collect the data of the human rights situation of the LGBT youth in Thailand to write a statement to the UN mechanism. We gather around 12 recommendations from member states to hold the Thailand accountable to support the LGBT rights in Thailand. One of the major changes that we have seen is that Young LGBTIQ people in schools are now more active. They even represent their schools in the national and regional level because they gain self-confidence to show your talent and skills and just be who you are. So with our allyship workshop, we feel that we've reached more parents, which has definitely improved the quality of conversations and improved the care that queer children get. These parents came back to us and said, oh, thank you for holding that. We were able to talk to our children in a calm and peaceful manner without having our child be fearful or hesitate to talk to us about their issues. We see that a lot of young people have started to um, create the activism work within their local area. Right now, we have the workshop all across Thailand. Young people are so inspired to support the rise at the national level. A message to my peers, always remember that nothing about us without us. Take the action, be part of our community. Sustain yourself, to take it slow because there is a lifetime's worth of opportunities and work to be done. Just be who you are and believe in yourself and just wherever you can, you can just support and make an impact of your own. You can write your own journey to support the advocacy in your area, in your home, or in your education institution. 